Hello and thanks for giving me your time to quickly demonstrate the features of CSS and JavaScript v6 Community Edition. CJT, as we like to call our plugin, allows you to create code blocks with CSS, JavaScript, HTML and PHP codes. And then you can assign these blocks to pages, posts, custom posts, categories and a whole lot more. We're going to demonstrate how to use CJT by embedding Google Maps with multiple placement markers. Firstly, I need to create a new CSS code block by clicking the new code block button, which is here. And we want to call it something like Google Maps CSS. I'm going to keep the code block activated and I'm going to keep the location hook um, to use the, the header of the page and the initial block position can be the first block top position. So click the create button once you've done that. Now I have some CSS code from earlier that I'm going to copy and paste. Like so. And then I'm going to assign the code block to the page I created earlier called Google Maps with multiple markers. So that will be in the assignment panel here. And there it is there. So I place a tick in that checkbox and then I click the save button up here. Now I want to create a new JavaScript code block by clicking this button again and I'm going to call it Google Maps JS and I'm leaving the default, create the block by clicking this button here and again I'm going to copy and paste my JavaScript code and I'm going to assign that to the Google Maps with multiple markers page and again I'm going to save the code block okay now lastly I need to create the HTML code block by repeating the steps so I'm going to call this one Google Maps dash HTML I'm just going to keep those checked as is click create and I'm going to copy and paste my markup like so and now no need to assign the page this time here because I'm going to be using what's uh, I'm going to use a short code for this one so I'm just going to save the code block as is now a quick way to go to the Google Maps page is to click on this link here and that will open the page in a new window. Now I've already logged in as an administrator so I just need to click edit this page or edit page here if you have your toolbar set to active in your user profile settings. Now make sure your editor is set to visual clicking this tab here so you can use and see the um, CJT block shortcode button so we can click that and it shows you our three code blocks that we created earlier now we want to use the um, Google Maps HTML uh, shortcode so click that and then update your page and let's preview the page and here is our Google Map with four location markers each with information pop-ups and clicking these links and it opens up the other locations with their pop-ups you can also click on the markers themselves and that's the demonstration of um, our Google Maps with multiple markers script so hope you enjoyed that now as Kermit would say, moving right along. Now I'm going to quickly explain all the additional features of the plugin. Uh, starting with the master toolbar, which is this bar here, and you'll also find that in the footer. This button here creates your code blocks, whilst this one saves all blocks in one go. Hovering over this button, 
either activates all, deactivates all, or reverts the state of all your code blocks. This one changes the or sets the location hook for all code blocks to the either the header or the footer. Hovering over this button allows you to delete all code blocks, delete only the empty code blocks, and we also have a backup saving function to save a copy of all your code blocks. We're going to have a play with this. Uh, you want to call it something, so it could be Google Maps Backup. And then you click the backup button. And this allows you to also delete uh, the uh, backup or restore a backup. This button here minimizes all code blocks, compacting them and saving space, whilst this button next door expands all code blocks. And alternatively, you can click any code block toolbar to individually expand or minimize. You can also shuffle code blocks around by clicking and dragging the toolbar and doing so changes the code block execution order which may be ideal for multiple CSS blocks. Okay, I'm just going to expand that again. Now onto the code block toolbar which are these bars here on top of each of the blocks. You can click on this block title here and uh, you can either cancel or save the title. Alternatively, you can click this icon here to change the title as well. This button changes the activation state of the code block, which can be handy for debugging or turning on or off CSS changes to maybe change the look of your website for example. Here we set the code block location hook to either the footer or the header and that would uh, output to the footer or the header of the web page when using the assignment panel for automatic code inclusion and another way is to use the code block short code embedder in the toolbar of the visual editor in your page or post. This button shows you some information about your code block such as the block title, the author, date and date created and last modified and also the short code which you can copy and paste into your page or post as well. Hovering over this icon allows you to set the editor syntax highlighter to CSS, HTML, JavaScript or PHP. Okay, we already had a play with the um, edit code block title, so I'm just going to skip this icon and go straight to the view and restore code block revisions. So I'll click that, and as you can see, you are able to restore an earlier revision, just like in um, WordPress pages and posts. So I'll show you that in action. I'll just create a few spaces there and save it and it should create a new entry which you can restore. Last, so well, second last button is the delete code block. Now you want to make sure that you use this with care. You get a pop-up beforehand um, that tells you, are you sure you want to delete this? And cancel that. And of course this is the uh, save button for the code block itself. Finishing up this panel here is the assignment panel and this is where you output your code blocks. We currently support pages and subpages, which are these ones are subpages. You can also click this uh, shaded checkbox to do all of the pages as well as its child pages or subpages. Uh, we've got posts, we've got custom posts, although I haven't uh, created any custom posts yet got categories as well as subcategories again you can click this shaded box uh, checkbox to select the um, child categories or subcategories uh, we've got uh, auxiliary pages and this includes things like your front page your blog index your website you know, dashboard backend and also 404 errors etc 
And we've also got an advanced tab that allows you to add URLs and also expressions, one per line. If you need instructions, please click uh, this link here. And this allows you to download the CJT V6 CE user manual. And that's in PDF. All right, well that wraps up the um, brief, rather quick and brief overview of our CSS and JavaScript toolbox plugin. We do hope you check out the CJT website and even consider getting our premium CJT edition and also our premium add-ons. Good luck with your website development and we hope CJT makes it easy and fun. All the best and take care.